Solving a percent mixture problem using a system of linear equations. The Royal Fruit Company produces two types of fruit drinks. The first type is 30% pure juice, and the second type is 55% pure juice. The company is attempting to produce a fruit drink that contains 45% pure fruit juice. How many pints of each of the two existing types of drink must be used to make 122 pints. I'm excuse me, 120 pints of a mixture that is 45% pure fruit juice. Uh, the first thing you might want to do here is to visualize this or draw a picture of what is really going on. Uh, think of having two containers and each container having some fruit juice here and so maybe this is a container here that has some kind of red fruit juice and then over here you have another container here that produces some kind of fruit juice uh, maybe it's apples and blueberries and then uh, you're trying to mix it in such a way where you get some kind of uh, product that only has 45 percent fruit juice. Why don't we label some of this? Uh, why don't we label this one uh, A and this one B and A and B are going to represent the amount of the fruit juice or the amount of pints of fruit juice A and then fruit juice B. We also have uh, some concentration involved. So 30% concentration, why don't we label it as a decimal uh, on the actual bottle there or container. And the second type has a concentration of 55%. So the second type has a concentration of 55%. Uh, when you mix it, we will actually want a concentration of 45%. So the final product will have a concentration of 45% pure fruit juice. We already know that uh, the amount of pints of the first type is represented by the letter A. The amount of pints of the second type of fruit juice is represented by the letter B. That key word here is pints, so don't forget to label your units. Because if you go back and read the problem, you get one of the, one of the equations rather quickly. Uh, how many pints of each of the two existing types of drink must be used to make 120 pints of a mixture that is 45% pure fruit juice. Um, let's see. Oh, we have an equation. A plus B. is got to equal to 120 pints. And going back to read the problem, the first type is 30% pure fruit juice and the second type is 55% pure fruit juice. The company is attempting to produce a fruit drink that contains 45% pure fruit juice. How many pints of each of the two existing types of drink must be used to make 120 pints of a mixture that is 45% fruit juice? Let's see. Let's take 
the amount of pints and multiply it by the concentration to get the total amount of pure fruit juice. So the second equation is about pure fruit juice. So for uh, the first type, we know it's 30% times the amount of juice of type A plus What's the second type? The second type is 55%. And then finally, uh, out of 120 pints, what's 45% of that to get the total amount of pure fruit juice? And if you do that on your calculator, handy dandy, we get 54. So the second equation really just says uh, 0.3 times A plus 0.55 times B is now equal to 54. I'm going to label some of these equations. I'm going to label this one equation 1 and equation 2. I am going to multiply equation 2 by 100 uh, to eliminate the decimal places. At the same time, um, I'm going to temporarily eliminate A. So I'm going to do negative 3 times equation 1, which will get you negative 3A minus 3B is equal to negative 360. And I'm going to do 100 times equation 2. Uh, multiply 100 to both sides of the equation 2 and we get 30a plus 55b is now equal to 5400. We're going to use the addition method. Oh, I apologize. Uh, I didn't mean to multiply equation 1 by negative 3. I really should multiply equation 1 by negative 30. So why don't we change that? That way we get negative 30a. And then we get negative 30b minus negative 30b is equal to 36000 with a negative symbol. Now we're ready to do the addition method. And if you do that, we get a total number of B's, which is 25. We get 25B is now equal to, looks like we have 1800. Hmm. So how many quarters are there in $18? Turns out there's 72 of them. So B is equal to 72. 72 what? 72 gallons, 72 liters, uh, 72 ounces. Make sure you remember your units. And why don't we answer the question? We also need to find A. So how do we get A? Go back to equation 1. Go back to equation 1. And equation 1 says uh, A is what? A is 120 minus 72, which is simply hmm, 48. So let's answer the question in a complete sentence. We need 48 pints of the first type of fruit juice and we need 72 pints of the second type of fruit juice. And that's good enough. 
The key is that you remember how to uh, label your numbers. Labeling is a mathematical skill. So make sure you write the label on your paper. Make sure you write it, write it, write it, write it down. 